Home prices have soared back, economists say, but they're also telling us not to cry bubble yet. Um, there is a lot of fear about um, home prices rising too high too fast and, and some sort of possible setback. Um, you know, from the data I look at, I don't think, I don't think we're going to see any kind of drop like we saw back a few years ago or anything, but certainly I, I don't think the, uh, the amount that homes have risen recently, uh, the value increase is sustainable, uh, mostly because we still have high unemployment, um, interest rates are going to start rising, um, you know, there's still a lot of economic challenges to, to keep, you know, prices rising so much. A lot of our price increase here has been somewhat artificial. You, you know, and, and what I mean by that is, um, you know, you, you had a lot of people jump off the fence because interest rates were so strong, and you had a lot of activity because you had large corporate institutions buying homes and, and you know, affecting the supply and demand curve, you know, coming in. And, you know, I, I tell people that, you know, you have a large corporate investor that buys a $150,000 house, uh, that's going to create multiple real estate transactions because it's like a domino effect. They buy the $150,000 house, and then that person goes out and buys the $250,000 house, and then that person sells their home, and they go out and buy a $350,000 house. And, and you know, looking at, um, you know, the statistics, um, that, you know, that can't be sustainable forever. You know, there's so much of that market going on right now. So, you know, I tell people, uh, ultimately, do I think we're going to see a huge drop-off? No. But do I think we're going to continue to see kind of stabilization and maybe some of that price increase slowing down and, and kind of flatlining a little bit with, with prices? Yeah. I mean, you can't have unemplo the unemployment that we have and some of the economic conditions that we have and expect prices to continue to go. The one thing that we do have, though, that's different than, you know, other parts of the country like the Midwest or, um, you know, the, the Northeast even, is you know we have this huge vacation market and huge attraction from uh, international people so that's another thing that's keeping our market a little healthier and that obviously hedges on exchange rates and the economy and all that And as that improves those people are going to kind of jump on the sidelines too because part of the reason you'd have a canadian person buy a home or someone in europe it's not just the value the perceived value um, it's also the exchange rate and it's also the, the discount compared to what their real estate costs. You know, we, we work with a lot of Canadians and, you know, we constantly hear, oh, your price is here or half of what they are where, where we are. Well, as that price starts to incrementally come up a little bit, then you lose that, that kind of pop from the international consumer where the value doesn't look as good of a steal. So are we going to have a, a huge drop in price? No. It, are the values going to continue rising like they have been? In my opinion, no. I, I think there's some kind of weakness in the foundation. I don't necessarily know that the foundation is as solid as it could be, and I think you still have way too many people underwater on their homes. I think, you know, a recent study showed like almost 40% or something in Tampa Bay uh, that, that owe more on their home than it's worth. So there's still just too, too large of a percentage of people that are, that are um, underwater. And what, I find is, what I find interesting is, um, you know, it's, it's funny because we have this really supply and demand challenge right now where we don't have a lot of supply and we have high demand. And everyone's like, well, where are the houses for sale? And I'm like, I'll tell you where they are. <laughs> they're, they're in foreclosure or, or there's someone who is underwater. You know, that's where all the homes that need to be sold are. They're, you know, and people that don't want to go through the credit damage of a short sale or won't qualify for a short sale. But 40% being underwater, they can't sell. They don't want to write a check. So they're sitting there on the sidelines. So it's, it's kind of this really unique market where it's, it's hard to compare it to markets of the past because you've got all these different elements you know, with, with the distressed market, with the, you know, the corporate institutional folks buying homes, it's, it's really just a unique market that's, you know, the value increase is, you know, almost contributed, um, you know, it's almost been contributed to by the fact that so many people can't sell their home. You know, not, not that they're not willing, but they don't have the funds to satisfy the mortgage. So it's, it's just, it's really interesting. I mean, you know, that's, that's pretty much the, the bottom line is the foundation's a little weak and um, certainly great news and a lot of positive things going on in the real estate market, but there's certainly a lot of negatives and a lot of risk too. And it, it's, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Uh, you see supply down and you see uh, prices up. 
it, it's it's not it's not all as it seems. There's a lot of data that shows some of the holes in the market, and some of those will eventually get exposed as, as kind of things progress. But uh, do I see prices dropping dramatically? Certainly not. So again, you're listening to the Duncan Duo Real Estate Show. If you've got questions about this, comments. If you want to talk about the local real estate market, if you're interested in foreclosures or short sales, uh, anything to do with the local real estate market, you can call us toll free. 855-970-WFLA. Again, that's 855-970-WFLA, basically the call tag for the station, uh, 970-9352, and then uh, 855 is a toll-free number. And you can call us on that number when we aren't on air as well, so pretty much any day of the week. If you want to talk to someone at our real estate office, ask a question, or if you're thinking about buying or selling, you can call us on that number as well.